Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel JMPR Cloud Tech, where you will be learning Salesforce from a learner, that's me, Preetam Angya. In my previous videos, we learned what are Salesforce objects, fields and relationships, page layouts and record types. In today's video, let us learn lightning record pages, compact layouts and buttons, links and actions. Let's say Astro called me up on Zoom and says he is happy with the way his restaurant application is coming by. But he is finding it difficult to make out which menu type he is on whenever a menu record is opened. So let us do few minor changes on the lightning record page. What is a lightning record page? Whatever you see here is the default lightning record page. You can create a new one or edit the default one. Let us click on the cog icon here and click on edit page. This opens up the lightning app builder where we can customize all the custom pages in the org. You can find the list of pages from this dropdown called pages. This dropdown here helps us to have a responsive design for various devices. On the left hand side, you have the list of out of box components or any custom component that you have created. Custom components here would be the Aura components or Lightning Web components, also called as LWC. I will soon be starting a new playlist to learn LWC from scratch. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can learn the most in demand skill set for Salesforce right now. Let's hover over Launchpad, which is a standard component. It has a help text stating it can provide quick links, so let's drag and drop it under the details. We will name it Quick Links. Here you can add up to 20 items which have been defined as custom tabs. Let us add the items and menu item custom tab here. The tabs that you see here, related and details or out of the box tabs, you can add any tab you want from here. If you click on the new tab that you added, you can select from a drop down list of values what kind of tab it should be. Let us select custom and provide a name as chefs. Right now this is empty. We can add any component from left hand side to this drop area. We will leave it blank for now and go back to details tab. This details tab has a standard component called record detail, which reflects the layout set on the page layouts that we had seen in earlier video. You can see that we can reuse it any number of time. On the right hand side, you can see an information from Salesforce saying we can upgrade to dynamic forms, which gives us even more control over the field layout. Let's click here to enable dynamic forms. And here you can see that it lets us arrange fields and sections any way we want rather than a rigid page layout. We can even do conditional rendering from here. Select next and choose the page layout as a base layout. We will select the menu sales layout and proceed. You can notice the difference between the normal detail page and the dynamic form. Let's add some conditional rendering for the additional detail field. Select the field and click add filter. Let's say when menu type equals breakfast, only then show additional details field. And also we will make it required when breakfast is the menu type. The other tab that you see here is the related tab. This shows all the lookups and master detail relationships with respect to menu object. You can even customize each one of them as per requirement like making it enhanced list, controlling number of records shown, adding a render condition, etc. The top bar that you see is the highlights panel, which shows the fields from a compact layout here. So for our case, Ashro mentioned he wanted to highlight menu type. So we will add it to a compact layout. Let's choose view all layouts and create a new compact layout for sales. We will add the fields menu name and menu type 
and save. Now we'll do the assignment to all record types as sales layout. If you go back to Lightning App Builder and refresh the page from here, you can notice the change in Highlights panel. Similarly, on the right hand side of the Highlights panel, you can see the buttons, links and actions. By default, they are fetched from the page layout, but we can even upgrade it to be a dynamic actions. For now, let's migrate from the existing page layout. Dynamic actions enable us to add custom filters on individual buttons, which we would not be able to do using just the page layouts. Let's add a filter on sharing button so that it can only be viewed by system admin profile. We will have to add an advanced condition like user profile name equals system administrator. Let's go ahead and save the lightning record page. If it is the first time we are saving, then we have to activate the page and assign org default or app default or record type or profile defaults. Let's select sales app and form factor as desktop and phone and all four record types of menu. We will assign this only to the sales profile and save it. Once done, let's log in as Astro and see how it looks now. Well, there you go. All our changes are here. If I change the menu type to breakfast, this fields become visible and also it is now mandatory. Since we are logged in as Astro now, we are not able to view the sharing button as Astro has sales profile. If I log in as myself, then I'll be able to see the sharing button. We till now saw only out of the box quick actions. Let us create our own buttons, links and actions from object manager. We can go here and select new action. Let's choose lightning web component. And here you can see all the custom LWC we have configured as a quick action. I have already created an LWC for demo purpose. Let's add it. We can even add a custom button or link. Let's add one detailed page link to my YouTube channel. Once created, we can go to page layouts and add this link here. We will navigate to sales layout and select custom links. Drag and drop the new link onto the layout. Save it and go to the record page to see the result.
If we click the quick action that we created, you can see the LWC opening up in a pop-up. So, in this video, we have covered lightning record pages, compact layouts, buttons, links, and actions. In future videos, let us explore the remaining configuration items available in Object Manager. Please do like, share, and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new videos.